people like that. Yoga mat if you got it. Um, water if you got it. And that's it, actually. Yoga mat and water, that, the essentials. <laughs> the essentials for this class. Um, ooh, this is one of my favorite workouts, actually. I'm just telling Alex. Uh, this is a very much endurance-based workout. That's why you need that water. That's why you're gonna need to take some breaks in the middle of this. Man, oh man. This is called Gone in 60 Seconds because the premise of this entire workout today is based on one minute splits, okay? One minute is a long time, it's 60 seconds. I mean, when you are working out, it seems like an eternity. 60 seconds to give me certain aspects of this workout, depending what they are. Now let's split into two parts today. Part one is three rounds. We're doing a round-based kind of part today. Number one is 20 air squats and maximum burpees done within 60 seconds. That means you have three rounds to get through 20 burpees as fast as you can and as many or 20 air squats as fast as you can and 20, ooh, I'm getting tongue tied. 20 air squats as fast as you can and then immediately into as many burpees as you can before that minute is up, okay? Now your score is based on the number of burpees you do after the 20 air squats. Then rounds two and three, you have to beat the last round. So if you did six burpees in round one, you gotta do seven in round two. If you did seven in round two, you gotta do eight in round three. Woo, that's crazy. After that, we have a good old fashioned circuit. It's eight minutes, one minute per exercise. We're working on cardio and core in that circuit. But until then, let's get ourselves warm. We got a lot to do today and a lot of sweat to form. So three minutes of your favorite cardiovascular activity. Get yourselves ready to go in three, two, one, begin. Now, you should be looking at your chats and seeing what things you can tune into before getting started with this workout today, with this crazy session today. This is a glorified, no excuse workout. This is one you can do in your living room, one you can do at the park, one you can do in your bathroom even, you got enough space. Make sure that you tune in to these exercises effectively. I'm doing butt kicks. I'm starting off pretty easy, not going too quickly. I see some people doing power skips. I see some people just jogging, some people jogging and moving their muscles, arms around. It's all good. Keep it up. Nicely done, team. Let's go. Breathe, 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 breathe. Don't forget, pump those arms. Those arms are important for helping you gain some momentum. Let's see what time we got. Three, two, one. Next move. Let's see. I see some sprints in there. I see some lateral walks. I see some lateral walks. Maybe I'll tune into those. Touching, touch. Other foot goes behind that front foot. Step, touch. I see Daphne working on those squats. She's getting ready for that. I see Tip with those speed skaters. Good stuff. I see Rosalie doing those jumping jacks. I dig it. Stay in, warm. Move those muscles around. And through, through. Come on, y'all. Stay in there. Nice stuff. Run around those apartments. It's a cold day. You want to warm that apartment up with some body heat. You're going to be moving quick. Let's go. And through, through. 10 more seconds. And then we're moving on to our last minute. And then we tune on to the next dynamic warm up. Ready in three, two, one, and last minute. Let's go, let's go. Pick one more activity and let's get after it. Good, Daphne. With those side steps, same for Kara, I love it. Good. Rosalie's got that alternating kick, dig it. We got Rob with those shuffle and a lunge, I love it. Good stuff, team. Nice tip, run around that. Go ahead, nice. Okay, 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Come on, come on, come on. Let's move. Let's move. Hang in there, y'all. Breathe. Don't use all of that gas just yet. We're going to be using it for the main workout. Let's go. 
and breathe. Work it. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. In nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hang in. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Breathe a little bit. Breathe. Shake those limbs around if you need to. Move them around. Get yourself limber. Roll the hips. Move those legs. Roll the arms and the shoulders around if you need to. Let's get into our dynamic warm up. First things first, make your squat form happen. So, into the squat form to begin with. Down, deep squat. Hold for about two seconds. Come back up and repeat. Now, you're going to try to get about 30 seconds worth of squatting in here. Take your time. Remember, get those knees out, big toe, pinky toe, and that heel into the ground, and try to get some depth in that squat. If you need to take those hands and put them out in front, by all means, do what helps you get the best squat possible. Nicely done, team. 30 seconds of this, all right? 30 seconds. Tune in, tune in. I want some depth. I want you to get some depth and then come back up. You can also do what Rob's doing, down and then shift, shift and up. Great way to open those hip flexors up a little bit more. Nice stuff, y'all, nice stuff. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Switch sides, we're gonna go profile now. We're gonna do a one-legged Romanian deadlift. So one hand stays forward, one leg comes up. You're gonna hinge, touch the floor, come up and switch. Hinge, touch the floor, come up, switch. Now, if you can't quite get that balance down, y'all, you can also do a B stance version. So small step back on one foot, hinge, touch, and then kick into the floor or into the ceiling. Hinge, touch, and kick. Remember those hinges pushing that car door back with the glutes. Car door pushes back with the glutes. Good stuff, y'all, good stuff. Stay in, 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. Keep on hinging. Hinge, up, switch. Hinge, kick the hip, and go forward. Nice stuff. Three, two, one. Nicely done. We're gonna start slowly making our way to the floor, but before that, we're gonna start with a Cossack squat. Now, we're not going back up into this Cossack squat. We're gonna stay in one playing field. So, wide stance, external rotation of the feet. You're gonna to come to one side, lift up the other foot, get down, and then stay in that zone. I want you to stay in here. We're preparing for those lateral step walks, right? Stay deep, stay low. You know, think of it like there's a fence over your head. There's a fence over your head and you don't want to hit your head on that fence. So just keep low. Try to open those hips and maintain that same depth through and through. Nice. Try to get those calves as close to the ground as you can. You got 15 more seconds. Nice, 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 nice. It'll help if you lift the extended leg's foot into the ceiling just a little bit. Just lift it up just a little bit to help you get a little bit more depth. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now after that, you're gonna find yourself in a child's pose. We're gonna do some dynamic upper dog in a child's pose. So this is moving quick here. Hands stay wide. Head's gonna go in the window between. You're gonna hold this for about three seconds. Transfer into an upward dog, press it to the ground, elongate the spine, look into the ceiling, three seconds, and then shift, come back through, three seconds here, push back into your transition to the upward dog, elongate that spine, and then just keep repeating, keep repeating, give yourself some time to get as much motion in both of those positions. Nice. On those downward dogs, team, I want you to look towards the ceiling, all right? Reason being is you're gonna actually curve more through that back if you look at that ceiling. Try to press those hands into the ground. That's it, Kara, good stuff. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Nicely done, team, almost there. Almost there. Give me one more rotation, one more rotation. 
in five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. And finally, you're gonna take one last seat, sitting on your glutes for this one. We're gonna do what's called a 90-90, just to open those hips up one last time before we get started. Now your purpose here, heels into the ground, toes up. You're gonna to go to one side, bringing both sides of your knees to the floor, and then looking at the other direction. You might have some tight hips here. It's okay, try to get as much range as you can. Hold that for two seconds, switch, and then twist to the other side. Hold that for two seconds. And back, keep that motion through and back. If you feel pretty gutsy, you can also add a lean into it. Lean the torso over the quad. Through, touch, lean, and then back through. Got a few more seconds, guys, come on. Good, good stuff. Hang in, hang in, hang in. Activate those hips, activate them. Good, Rosalie, nice stuff. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, all right, all right, get that water. You can move your yoga mats away for a little bit, unless you wanna keep them there for your uh, burpees. But let's explain number one, one more time, part one. You have three rounds to give me 20 burpees and as, or 20 squats and as many burpees as you can in one minute. So we just did our air squats. That's essentially body weight squat, down, up, down, and up. You give me 20 of those. After you hit that 20, you're gonna go straight into burpees. This is where we start counting our reps and seeing if we can beat them later. You have three options for those burpees. Down, fall, up, jump, that's one. Down, back, up, jump, that's two. Or high, low, that's three, all right? No matter which one you do, you need to stay consistent for the rest of those three rounds. Okay, now rounds two and three. Say I did all my 20 squats and I did about three burpees. Round two, I have to at least do four. And if I did four in round two, I have to do five in round three. Does that make sense to everybody? Thumbs up if you got it, good, good, good. We're already getting into it. I'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds. 30 seconds to get your minds right. 30 seconds starting now. Move those joints around. Now what I will say is those squats should be going quickly today. Get some depth, but I need you to be a little explosive with those squats. Get down, come straight back up. Use some explosiveness. We got 12 seconds. Let's do this. I want everybody to remember how many burpees they did because I will ask you five, four, three, two, one. Get after it, go, 20 squats. You can't get those burpees until you finish those 20 squats. Get there. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Up to my burpees. One, two, come on. Three, four. Halfway, let's go. Five, get there. Six, stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in. Round one, set your pace. Let me see how many you can do. Go for it, go for it. 15 seconds, team, let's go. Nicely done, nicely done. I'm seeing some intensity, I'm seeing some work. Let's get after it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Okay, a few seconds of rest, only a little bit. Show in your fingers how many burpees you do. Let's see it. How many? Nice, Rob. Good stuff, everybody. Okay, you got to beat it. So if Rob hit 10, he's got 11 now. Only 30 seconds. 30 more seconds to get your minds right. Moving on again. Get that water if you need it. 30 seconds are up. Move it, move it, move it. Now, we need to beat it. We need to beat it. How do we beat it? By putting a little bit more gas, using a little bit more of that gas this time. If you need to, see if you can take down a little bit of the time of your air squats. 
Eight seconds by going a little quick. Five, four, three, two, one, and air squats. Go, go, beat it. You know how to do squats, you can do them all day. That's basically the premise of this class. Let's go. Up, up, up and at him, up and at him. That's it. Nice stuff. Look at Kara. Go ahead, lady. Look at Daphne. Yes. Good stuff, team. Come on. Nice, Tiff. Good pace, good pace. 40 seconds remain. Keep moving. I want to see him. Good, Tiff. Nice. Get there, get there, get there. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, Rosalie. Nice, nice, nice. Keep working. You're doing great. Less than 30 seconds left. 24 to be exact. Keep that pace. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nicely done, team. Remember, three options for those burpees. Down, fall, and jump. Down, back, and jump. Or the high, low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, I see some people stopping before that last few seconds. <laughs> I know you're tired. It's fine. It's fine. How many did you do? Let's stay accountable. Did you beat your time? Did you beat your last burpee, I mean? Yes, good. Good, good, good. You get about 30 more seconds of rest, okay? Before I start the next 30 seconds. So 60 seconds of rest. Good stuff. Shake out. Move those limbs around. Move those limbs around. If you're feeling like you're still kind of tightening those hips, work on those hip flexor stretches. Get yourselves in order. Nicely done. Now listen, this is the last round. Maybe the last round. Let's see how I feel. You got to go hard for this next round. If Rob hit 11, that means now he's got 12. Don't you, Rob? Uh-huh. Okay. If Tiff, I don't even, how many did you do last round, Tiff? Like, okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, my. So you got a lot to do. <laughs> you got it, girl. Go ahead. All right. Starting up that 30-second mark, I want to see you beat it. Stay accountable. Start moving around. Start grooving. Keep that gas ready. Move those muscles. Remember, you know how to squat. We've been doing squats all the way through this class. Get there, get some depth, use some explosiveness, and then go straight to those burpees. That's what we need. This is what's tiring you out. This is what's gonna get you to the next task at hand. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Let's do it. Three, get some depth, drop. Five, six, seven, eight, up, nine, 10, one, come on, two, three, get there, get there, get there, get there. Nice, Daphne. Look at Daphne. Daphne's consistent with her depth. Consistent, I love it. Go, Tip, go, go, go. Nice stuff. Get there, Rosalie, get there, Rob. Good work. Nice, Kara. Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Look at them burpees. I know everybody hates them, but we got to work on them. Nice, Kara. Look at Kara's speed. Go ahead. 22 seconds. Give me what you got, everybody. Give me what you got. Hang in, hang in, hang in. 15 seconds left. And up. Let's do it. Keep it consistent. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Okay, who's tired yet? Yeah, no one? We're all good? We still, we still around? All right, cool. So you might hate me if I said I had one more, one more round. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll do it with you though. We got one more round, but you have 90 seconds to get your mind right. 90 seconds, and then we get into round or part two of this. Now, obviously you hit a huge number of burpees by this time. You want to match or beat your third round. I know you're tired, I know we got more to do, but I want you to focus on matching or beating that round you just did. Okay, now what does that mean? You know those squats. You know how to make them explosive. I saw everybody do it today. That's what I like. With those burpees, it's basically put your head down and get to work. You all know burpees too, and y'all got it. 30 seconds on the clock starting now. Start moving and grooving, team. Here we go, we're running again. I want you to stay committed. 
and then we move on. We move on, you're working hard. Good long rest after this. Good long two minute rest after this. But give me one, one last one. Let's do this, 20 seconds. Get your minds right. Figure out what is gonna get you to that quick burpee draw. Get to those burpees before that 30 second count. Nine, eight, seven, six, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 racing, racing, up, get there, nice stuff guys, all the way up, get it, get it, get it, nice stuff, come on, come on, good Rob, good, 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 you're almost there, it's the last round, two minutes of good rest after this, good, good rest after this, I love it, I love it, nice Rosalie, nice Kara, Go ahead, Daphne. Go ahead, Tiff. Move it, move it, move it. Yes, yes, yes. Up. 25 seconds left, team. 25 seconds. You've got this. Dig deep. Beat that round if you can. Match it is a must. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Be honest. At the end of this, you have 10 seconds. Did you beat or did you match or did you do nothing of that? Let's go in five, four, three, two, one nice work everybody so we just did that for about i don't know six minutes maybe six ish minutes and i feel like we're kind of tired already yeah i'm sorry <laughs> but you have a good long time to breathe now by a show of hands how many people beat it who beat it yeah good rosalie all right all right all right all right if you matched hey Go ahead, you still stay committed. And if you didn't, you still did the damn workout. Good stuff, everybody. Now, get that water. I'm gonna explain the next stint. Now, this is a consistent eight minutes of pure moving. Consistent eight minutes of pure moving. Look at your chats. One minute per exercise. Now, what that means is you dictate your breaks. You dictate your brace, but understand that this is all about your endurance on this next round. First things first, we have sprints. Now sprints, essentially you're trying to do this outside, but you can still do this inside. If you're working on a sprint, looks just like this, moving quick. It's a jog, just a little bit faster. Ground, now the next one, crunches, because this is cardio and core. As soon as that next minute rolls over, you're gonna jump to the ground. You're gonna get onto that supine position with your yoga mat. And you're gonna focus on doing as many crunches as you can. A crunch is different from a sit-up. This is a sit-up. This is a crunch. That upper back raises off the floor using the upper abdominals to get your upper back off the floor. You're focusing on bringing that head up just slightly. As soon as that's done, you're getting back up Lateral walks. Remember that fence is overhead. Touch and touch. 60 seconds of lateral walks. Now you're gonna get tired in that first two minutes. So take a stand, shake out those legs, come right back through, touch and touch. After those lateral walks, we're gonna go down to the floor again for a reverse crunch. That is basically taking these legs and putting them back up towards the torso. Looking ahead of you, and bringing the knees into the chest and back, as many as you can. Notice that I am not going fast here. I am going at an effective pace to allow me to get as many quality reps as I can. As soon as that's done, you're going back into sprints. We already did sprints. Then you move into a Russian twist down on the floor. Russian twist, meaning heels into the ground, small lean at the upper back, Twist to the left and the right sides, right? So twist and twist, making sure that you are making contact with the ground. Then we have one more lateral step walk into a different new exercise, which I call dead bugs, all right? Now dead bugs, essentially, you're going to take your hands, put them up to the ceiling, take the legs, curl them in a 90 degree angle and bring that head up just a little bit. The right hand and the left foot are going to extend and they come back to the center. And then the left hand and right foot extend back to the center. 
Does this make sense, everybody, right? Anybody have any questions, any concerns? Nah, 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 we good? Are we all rested? We all ready to go? Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, 30 seconds on the clock. Remember, this is eight minutes of just pure work. I want you guys to be effective. Take your breaks when you need it. 30 seconds starting, oh, wrong thing. 30 seconds starting in three, two, one, begin. Now your 30 seconds are up. You're getting that water, you're starting to move around. You're understanding that you can take breaks on this one. Each minute that goes by, you're doing something different. So starting with those sprints, remember you're sprinting for 60 seconds. If you cannot sprint, go into a light jog for 60 seconds, right? So get those knees up, try to think about hot feet, pump those arms, keep it moving if you can. As soon as that's done, first thing of crunches. Eight seconds, let's get to work. Ready in five, four, three, two, one and move it. I'll see you in eight minutes. We're only doing one round of this, but I want you to work hard. Knees pumping. You're not going into a high knee function, but you're moving quick. Move, move, move. Get there, pump those arms. Focus, breathe, pump. We're almost through, we're almost through, come on. Pumping, pumping, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Good, Rob, good. I like how you're moving from side to side. Keep it up. Pump, 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 pump. Nice stuff. Hang in, hang in. Halfway, and then we're moving right into those crunches. Stay committed, stay right. Good, y'all, good, y'all. Look at Daphne. Go ahead, lady, go. Look at Kara, come on. Rosalie, Tim, yes. Keep it moving. 10 seconds, nine, eight, stay in, seven, Six, five, get ready to go to the floor. Three, two, one, and crunches. Let's go. Now take your time. Raise and lower. Raise that upper back off the floor and bring it right back in. 60 seconds of as many crunches as you can. Pull and back. Try not to lift with your neck, by the way. Look in the first direction and use that upper abdominal area to allow yourself to come up. Perfect, Kara. Peep Kara for that good form. Nice stuff, 30 seconds. And then we're moving into crab walks after this or lateral step walks. Nice stuff, good. Feet on the floor, team. Feet on the floor. Raise only the upper back. Only the upper back, that's it. Nice stuff, feel that through. We're getting ready to come up in 10 seconds for those lateral step walks. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Spring up quick. Come down into your lateral stance and touch, touch. Give me as many as you can. Come on. Be a little speedier if you can. And touch, touch. Stay in this zone. Don't come up. And if you have to come up, take that time, shake it off. Shake off those hips, move them around, come back down, touch and touch. You're going underneath that fence, strengthen underneath that fence. Go quick, deeper, Rob, deeper. That's it, good, good stuff, good stuff. Nice stuff, get under that fence. If you must take a break, take your break, shake it off, come right back in. 17 seconds left, 17. Hang in there, team, you're doing great, doing great. Come on, Daphne, nice stuff. And 10 seconds left. Moving on into reverse crunches. That is knees up to the torso. Three, two, one. Let's go. And back. Two, take your time. Take your time. And pull. Lift. Try to get the knees to go towards your chest. Look at the wall in front of you. Don't look at the ceiling, look at the wall. I want that upper back a little bit off the floor for these. If proving this is a little too challenging, you can always come up and do one leg at a time. Good stuff, keep moving, keep moving. Keep striving for success if you can. Pull back, pull back, pull. Nice, nice, nice. 15 seconds, guys, come on. 
Good, Kara. Good, good, good. Puppy love. I love it. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven. Good tip. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. You're moving into the sprints. One more time. Sprint. Remember, get those knees up just a little bit. Pump the arms. This is your chance to go quick. This is your chance to be effective. Look at Rob. Go, 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 go. That's right, Tiff. Sprinting. Look at Daphne. Come on. Look at Rosalie. Let's go. Look at your teammates, yo. Moving. Pump, 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 pump. Use those arms to your advantage. Those arms are going to help you be a little bit quicker. Pump those arms to get to that point. Think of someone who just stole your wallet. Someone just stole your purse. Run after them. Get them. Go, go, go. Pull it. Moving, moving, moving. Get there. Pump, pump. If you must take a break, shake it off. Move around if you have to. Pump right back in. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds. Come on, that's it, Daphne. That's it. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Dead bugs, dead bugs. Let's do that first. Dead bugs. Both hands in the air, right and left. And then left and right. Look up at that wall. Upper back off the floor just a little bit. Pull and pull. Come on. Stay committed. Stay committed. Notice how I have my thumbs doing that little thumbs up thing. It's helping me touch the floor behind me. Pull. Nice. Stay tight through that core. That's it, Kara. Good stuff. Nice, Rob. Come back to that 90 degree point. That's your starting position, team. Stay in there, Daphne. Stay in there, Tiff. Good job, Rosalie. 10 seconds. All right. Moving on to the final part of this. The final part. In four, three, two, one. Lateral step walks. You should be moving quick now. Come on up. Come on up. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go. Touch, touch. Stay under that fence. Stay under that fence. Try to get some distance in that step if you can. If you can't, try to move a little bit quicker. Got it. Nice. Dig, dig. You only have 37 seconds left. Let's see what's up. Nice, guys. Don't compensate. I want some depth. Get under the fence if you can. That's it. Good, 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 good. Stay in, guys. Almost there, almost there. 25 seconds remain. Go ahead, Daphne. Go ahead, Rosalie. Stay in, stay in. You're doing great. 17 seconds now. And finally finishing up with the Russian twists. Russian twists. Make sure you're looking in the direction you are twisting. Slight lean in five, four, three, two, one. On the floor as quick as you can. Lean back, clasp the hands, touch. Touch, take your time. This is the last one we're doing. Come on, breathe. Make sure that lean is challenging you. Dig those heels into the ground, twist, and see if you can make contact with those knuckles if you can. Come on, guys, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Take your time if you need to, take your time. Remember, you can come out of this, but this is the last part of this circuit. Stay committed, stay committed. Nice work, guys, nice work, nice work. Come on through, come on through. All right, all right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and you're home free for the moment. And touch, touch, come on, stay in. And through, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, don't stop, two, one. Good stuff, everybody. Woo! Hey, it's been eight minutes already. Ha! How we doing, y'all? Oh, we we a little tired. I can see it. I can see some tiredness in the face. How are our how's our core doing? Core's a little tired too. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But guess what? You did it. You did it. And we did that workout in like 22 minutes. Who the thunk? And look at me. I'm sweaty. It's probably just because I sweat all the time. But good stuff. Good stuff, each and every one. Now, let's go into a cool down. Let's go into a slight cool down. You can stay on the floor if you want. You can stay on the floor. You can stand with me. I want you to take those hands. 
I want you to clasp them together. Right on the sternum. I want you to focus on resetting that heart rate. You already know what it is. So that's big breaths in, raising that chest, accommodating that diaphragm in, big breaths out. Take your time. It's very important. Take your time doing this. Take as much time as you need. I want you to reset. I want you to take big breaths in, both through the mouth and through the nose. You can alternate them if you want. But make sure that you are trying to get that heart rate back to where it needs to be. Let's do one more together. And we're actually gonna keep moving on into that cool down. Now from this point, guys, you can go profile from your cameras. We're gonna activate a hinge, but first we're gonna make sure that we take one big breath in, reach up to the sky, Exhale, hinge, and I want you to hug the knee or behind the legs and hold it here for a few seconds. Now notice me, I'm rocking. Yeah, I have a little bit of a curved spine, that's okay. But my feet are firmly in the floor. I'm just rocking around. I may be doing circles. And I'm just getting myself back to where I need to be. All right? Do what you can. If you want to restart that, come up with another big breath. And then exhale, restart that, hug behind the legs, grabbing the calves, and then just coming right back in. Just give yourself a little bit of love there. It's a little bit of love. Nice stuff, nice stuff, hang in. Now from that position, you can stand back up. Still stay in profile. Take a lunge back down to the ground. Apparently kick the forward foot that forward foot's going to be kicked out and both of those hands on the inside of that foot. And from this position, guys, I want you to take the outside hand, this is my right, I want you to raise it, open the torso to the opposite wall, looking at your fingertips. Hold it here, get a few classic breaths in, and then come back down to that starting position. Once you're down in that starting position, I then want you to take that outside hand, reach in front of you, and then half moon up, and then back to your heel if you can, and then back to the starting position. You can do that one more time too. Up, keep tracking those tender tips, touch, and then back. Do the same thing on the opposite leg. So, right leg is coming up now, I have it positioned in. I'm gonna take my outside hand as my left. I'm gonna open the torso, look up to the ceiling, hold it here for a few seconds, get some breaths in. And when you're ready, you can come back down, restart, dig in. That left hand is gonna reach, curl into that half moon, follow the fingertips, Touch that heel if you can. Half moon back, starting position. You'll do one more of those. Up, reach, looking at those fingertips. Touch, keep trailing those fingertips. And back. Both feet on the floor. You're gonna fall into a butterfly stretch now. That is both feet pressing into each other pulling those heels back into your body and sticking that chest out strong. Now we're gonna take a little bit of time breathing on this stretch. You have the option to just stand here, sit here. You can roll or you can rock. But as you're doing this, I want you to take some really deep, deep breaths. I'd say we'd be here for another 20-ish seconds, right? Another 20 seconds, just feeling yourself out. If you can, see if you can get the outsides of your knees to go close to the ground, right? Close to the ground, opening that hip flexor, those hip flexors, but still working on that breath. You got about seven seconds left. Keep on rocking, five, four, three, two, one, 
Good stuff, guys. Straighten both feet in front, toes up to the ceiling. You're gonna grab far. If you can reach those toes, by all means, reach them. If you can't, grab the ankles, grab the shins, come underneath, hold on to the calves even. But I want you to try to roll that back forward. Roll it forward. And same thing, you can rock. Rock from side to side, kind of rolling the calves from left to right. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. A few seconds here, and we're gonna actually come back to our standing position. And stand. Slowly, slowly find your way up. Take your time, straighten everything. Knees, hips come forward, chest comes up, shoulders come back. You can roll them out for a few more times if you need to. And then you're gonna finalize this session with three big breaths. That's one. Let's do it again. That's two. And then give me one last one. And three. Wow, your rooms may be hot now, huh? Hopefully. Good stuff, guys. Good, good, good work, good work. Another no excuse, no BS workout. That was all about endurance. I've been doing endurance a lot as of late, and that's just because we should work on it. That is your aerobic system working at full capacity, right? If you ever wanted to work on endurance, try doing these exercises for as long as you can. I like doing these for a minute because I like to see how long I can persevere through these exercises without hurting myself, of course. Take your breaks, figure out what works for you. You can do this anywhere, like I said. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, park, your mama's house. I don't know, do it somewhere. But this is one of those things you can do to keep that endurance shaped perfectly. Now, next week, come back into some more Metcon work. Bring them heavy weights, okay? Heavy weights. I wanna do some deadlifts if possible. Work on that hinge. And then Friday, more emphasis on endurance, but a little bit more on core too. I just gave it away from y'all. Oh, you're well, you just, you're welcome. Now you get to know what to expect. Until then guys, treat yourselves right. Eat some things, eat some stuff, eat some stuff. Fuel your body up right. And then let me know if you have any questions coming into the next week. Until then y'all, good work, nice stuff. I'll see you soon. Have a good weekend, Reggie. Hey, thanks y'all.